Are you having a hard time falling asleep? Or do you want to fall asleep easily every night? If your answer is yes, then keep on watching this video because today we will uncover the 10 tricks that help you fall asleep instantly. Stay tuned. Before we move on, a like would be awesome. Number 1. Lower the temperature Your body temperature changes as you fall asleep. Your body cools down when you lie down and warms up when you get up. If your room is too warm, you might have a hard time falling asleep. Setting your thermostat to a cool temperature between 60 to 67 Fahrenheit or 15.6 to 19.4 Celsius could help. Individual preferences will vary, so find the temperature that works best for you. Taking a warm bath or shower could also help speed up the body's temperature changes. As your body cools down afterwards, this can send a signal to your brain to go to sleep. One literature review found that taking a hot bath or shower before bed could improve certain sleep parameters such as sleep efficiency and sleep quality. Sleep efficiency refers to the amount of time you spend asleep in bed as opposed to lying awake. People who took baths or showers measuring between 104 to 108.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 to 42.5 degrees Celsius one to two hours before bedtime experienced positive results. They reported improvements in their sleep even if their baths or showers lasted for as little as 10 minutes. More research is needed, but these findings are promising. Number two, use the 478 breathing method. The 478 method that Dr. Andrew Wild developed is a simple but powerful breathing method that promotes calmness and relaxation. It might also help you unwind before bed. It's based on breath control techniques learned from yoga and it consists of a breathing pattern that relaxes the nervous system. It can be practiced anytime you feel anxious or stressed. Here are the steps. Number one, first, place the tip of your tongue behind your upper front teeth. Number two, exhale completely through your mouth and make a whoosh sound. Number Number three, close your mouth and inhale through your nose while mentally counting to four. Number four, hold your breath and mentally count to seven. Open your mouth and exhale completely, making a whoosh sound and mentally counting to eight. Repeat this cycle at least three more times. This technique can relax you and help you fall asleep quickly. Number three, get on a schedule. Many people find that setting a sleep schedule helps them fall asleep easier. Your body has its own regulatory system called the circadian rhythm. This internal clock cues your body to feel alert during the day but sleep at night. Waking up and going to bed at the same times each day can help your internal clock keep a regular schedule. Once your body adjusts to the schedule, it'll be easier to fall asleep and wake up around the same time every day. It's also important to get 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night. This has been shown to be the optimal sleep duration for adults. Lastly, give yourself 30 to 45 minutes to wind down in the evening before getting in bed. This allows your body and mind to relax and prepare for sleep. Number 4. Experience both daylight and darkness Light can influence your body's internal clock which regulates sleep and wakefulness. Irregular light exposure can lead to the disruption of circadian rhythms, making it harder to fall asleep and stay awake. During the day, exposing your body to bright light tells it to stay alert. Both natural daylight and artificial light, such as the kind emitted from an e-reader, have this effect on your alertness. At night, darkness promotes feelings of sleepiness. In fact, research shows that darkness boosts the production of melatonin, an essential hormone for sleep. In fact, the body secretes very little melatonin during the day. Get out and expose your body to sunlight or artificial bright light throughout the day. If possible, use blackout curtains to make your room dark at night. Number 5. Practice Yoga, Meditation, and Mindfulness When people are stressed, they tend to have difficulty falling asleep. Yoga, meditation, and mindfulness are tools to calm the mind and relax the body. Moreover, they've all been shown to improve sleep. Yoga encourages the practice of breathing patterns and body movements that release stress and tension accumulated in your body. Research shows that yoga can have a positive effect on sleep parameters such as sleep quality, sleep efficiency, and sleep duration. Meditation can enhance melatonin levels and assist the brain in achieving a specific state where sleep is easily achieved. Lastly, mindfulness may help you maintain focus on the present, worry less while falling asleep, and even function better during the day. Practicing one or all of these techniques can help you get a good night's rest and wake up re-energized. Number 6. Avoid looking at your clock It's normal to wake up in the middle of the night. 
However, the inability to fall back asleep can ruin a good night's rest. People who wake up in the middle of the night often tend to watch the clock and obsess about the fact that they can't fall back asleep. Clock watching is common among people with insomnia. This behavior may cause anxiety about sleeplessness. To make matters worse, waking on a regular basis without falling back asleep may cause your body to develop a routine. As a result, you might find yourself waking up in the middle of the night every night. If possible, it's best to remove the clock from your room. If you need an alarm in the room, you can turn your clock and avoid watching it when you wake up in the middle of the night. Number 7. Avoid naps during the day Due to poor sleep at night, people with insomnia tend to be sleepy during the day, which often leads to daytime napping. While naps of short duration have been linked to improvements in alertness and well-being, there are mixed opinions about the effects of napping on nighttime sleep. Some studies have shown that regular naps that are long, at least two hours, and late may lead to poor nighttime sleep quality. In a study of 440 college students, the poorest nighttime sleep quality was observed in those who reported taking three or more naps per week, those who napped for more than two hours, and those who napped late between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Number 8. Watch what's and when you eat it seems that the food you eat before bed may affect your sleep. For example, research has shown that high-carb meals may be detrimental to a good night's rest. A review of studies concluded that even though a high-carb diet can get you to fall asleep faster, it won't be restful sleep. Instead, high-fat meals could promote deeper and more restful sleep. In fact, several older and newer studies agree that a high-carb, low-fat diet significantly decreases the quality of sleep compared to a low-carb, high-fat diet. This held true in situations where the high-carb, low-fat diets and the low-carb, high-fat diets contain the same amount of calories. If you still want to eat a high-carb meal for dinner, you should eat it at least four hours before bed so you have enough time to digest it. Number 9. Listen to relaxing music Music can significantly improve the quality of sleep. It can even be used to improve chronic sleep disorders such as insomnia. A study of 24 young adults demonstrated that sedative music promoted deeper sleep. Listening to Buddhist music may be another great tool for better sleep as it can reduce the amount of time it takes you to fall asleep. This parameter is known as sleep onset. Buddhist music is created from different Buddhist chants and is used for meditation. Another 50-person study revealed that those who were exposed to soothing music for 45 minutes at bedtime had a more restful and deeper sleep compared to those who didn't listen to music. Lastly, if relaxing music isn't available, blocking all noise could also help you fall asleep faster and promote uninterrupted sleep. Number 10. Exercise during the day Physical activity is often considered beneficial to healthy sleep. Exercise can increase the duration and quality of sleep by boosting the production of serotonin in the brain and decreasing levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. However, it's important to maintain a moderate intensity exercise routine and not overdo it. Excessive training has been linked to poor sleep. The time of day when you exercise is also critical. To promote better quality sleep, working out early in the morning appears to be better than working out later in the day. Therefore, moderate to vigorous exercise in the morning could significantly improve the quality of your sleep and how much sleep you get. Do you find these tricks helpful? Comment down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.